M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Just a quick update on this TID radio. It's a Bluetooth transmitter, allows you to program your radio using your smartphone and your PC as well. And that's this is the app that you download. Android, I'm pretty sure it's Android and iOS. So, and they're now saying it supports the UVK5 and the UVK6. And I just tested it and it does. So if we go back to the beginning window, so that's what the app looks like. Tap that, plug the device into your twin pin, turn it on, obviously you charge it, it's got USB-C charging. Then you have to pair it, so choose your device. And you've got UVK5 or K6. And then it will ask you to pair, and mine's already paired. See that, it's already paired. Now you do have to swipe down and turn on your Bluetooth. Just tap it by swiping from the top with Android but you don't have to actually pair then. You pair when you get to this window here, tap and pair, choose it, and then just click read. And uh, you can see it reading there. And it's read, it takes you straight to sort of the channels. So let's, I'm not sure if I've got anything in this, programmed in this one at the moment. So let's just choose a channel at random. And well, it's called channel, it's channel 10. Tap it, type your frequency, you can delete first if you want. So we'll go four. Let's just tap at the beginning there. It's all about I'm being fiddly now, aren't I? Four, three, four. It's phones for you, isn't it? Where's the dot gone? No, we don't need the dot. We don't need decode, so we can that's your CTCSS, so we can just set that to none. Like so, but TX, we do want that, 77 for Hubnet, that is. It's not a repeater, that one. TX power, medium mode, and then it will write that to the radio. It's a lot easier than having to connect it to a, to a computer. You can buy the UV5R cables, which work on these, for about, you know, literally five pounds on Amazon. Let's confirm, I'm gonna have a look around and see if I can dig out my UVK6. Let's just go back one. We can save items there. You can give it a, the item you save, you can give it a name, so we can call it K6. So you can bring that back in. And when you log into your TID account on your PC, it will have all this and you can actually change it and it will remember it when you log in next time. Um, let's just go, what's this repeater list? You can, apparently you can import stuff, I haven't tried that. Let's go back one. Just gonna go back, program settings. Incorrect board rate, mm, not sure why it does that because everything's connected and working. Let's go to, come back in and just gonna select functions. There you are, that's all your settings look. DTMF, Squelch, Vox, Dual Watch. All the settings you would expect in a radio. It's actually got a reset button there. And you can share the file that you've you've made as well. Repeater list, import, let's try this. I'm not really sure how that would work. Repeater list, no results. Distance, frequency, confirm. Is it going? Oh, look at that. Well, I didn't know it did that. Import, should we just choose one? So GB3ZB, that's the details. How do we bring it to our radio? Just click import. So do we just select? I'm going to click right. Uh, it's saying connected device, but I am connected. That's interesting, isn't it? So we're definitely going to have to learn that one. Repeater list, import. That was good the way it did that. Confirm. Import two, right, okay. Import two, ah, so let's go to channel three. Confirm. And then we'll go back. 
says channel three. And we'll write it. Please connect it. Thinks I'm disconnected, is it? Go back to the disconnect page. Connect Bluetooth. Yeah, we'll do that. And we will write to the device. UVK5, yep. Go back to that repeater thing. Yeah, I'm jumping around, but I did notice on three it has put in that repeater. So we're gonna we're gonna write it. You can see it's quite faint. Data failure. Right. You've got to be patient with these with this new tech. Make sure the radio and Bluetooth adapter are turned on. They are. Could be that it's active, the channel's active. We'll just reconnect. I notice you can actually, you've got this thing here. You, there's more to this program. You can actually talk to each other. It's pretty good. We'll try it again on the writing. Yeah, it is glitching out. Make sure the radio Bluetooth adapter are turned on. And just do that again. Make sure it's pushed in properly. Click right again. Ah, it's working now. So after just sort of disconnecting and reconnecting a couple of times, it started to work. So give it a go. I mean, I know it's going to work on the K6 because they're exactly the same radio. So thanks for watching my channel. Bye for now.